Well, last year not taking place last year because of COVID-19, the Crescent Construction MLK Bash made its return to the capital city on Monday. One of the games on tap, CJ Rich and Spring Valley taking on one of the state's top sophomore hoopers, Cam Scott and Lexington. Second half, Spring Valley's Khalil Cook fakes the shot, finds Josh Nelson, easy two-handed slam. He finished with seven. Then later in the half, hey, if at first you don't succeed, try again, right? That's what Kendall Williams did, making it in plus the harm. He finished with six points and seven boards. Then CJ Rich looking like his dad carry back in the day. He is a sweet floater. CJ finished with a team high 13 points. Vikings roll to a 56-241 win. GG Jackson. And Ridgeview taking on AC Flora. First half, Colin Murray boils, gets to the hoop, banks it in, plus the har. Man, like me in a buffet line on a Sunday night, Colin wasn't done eating. He followed up his miss with a huge two-handed slam. He finished with 17 points and 17 boards. Falcons up seven. Then CP Parker saw his team was feeling a little bouncy on Monday, so he joined in on the action with a huge one-handed Finish. He led the way with 11 in the half. Falcons led by as many as nine in this one, but then Gigi got going. Amari Holiday slices it to him. Easy dunk. Gigi finished with a team high 20 points and 19 rebounds. Blazers win 53 to 45. In the finale, a matchup between two hoop coaching legends, Zach Norris and perennial Class 3A powerhouse Keenan taking on Deion Pepe and Class 2A juggernaut Bray Collegian. Second half, War Eagles in the lead. Football state champ Tori Kelly shows off his ball hawking skills, stealing the rock and banking it in. Tori finished with four steals along with his eight points. Keenan would storm back though. Ola Knox comes in out of nowhere like his name was Randy Orton with a two-handed follow. Knox had 12 points and 13 rebounds on the night. Raiders brought it as close as two, but the War Eagles held on winning 54 to 50.